Hello all, welcome to the interview related questions of the day from CRS Info Solution. Today's question is, how does Apex work? So in the previous video you saw what is the Apex programming, what is the benefit of that, etc. Now today we are going to see how Apex works. Actually the Apex mechanism is going to be clear to you by this image. Please note here, in this case, First of all, whenever any developer user is going to start working on programming, then the journey gets started from this position. Developer user is going to create some uncompiled Apex, non-compiled Apex, non-processed Apex you can say. And he is going to do all this work on the internet. Then by using application server, the servers provided by Salesforce the uncompiled apex will be compiled by using apex compiler so it means it is going to give some results now after compilation and then this a compiled apex will reach to the data storage again this is controlled by salesforce after that whenever any end user any customer is using salesforce software then his request will be sent to this application server which will bring the compiled effects from the data storage where we have stored that and in the runtime engine means it will start giving the results that coding will start giving the solution which will come as a result for the end user this is the systematic approach on the cloud on the internet helps the customers end users to use this Salesforce services and also the solutions provided in Salesforce, present in Salesforce, which is in the format of this Apex programming. And please note here we have some important entities that is servers, which is controlled and managed by Salesforce. And please note at the end, the option you can see data storage, which is also called as metadata. So, two names are there, metadata and data storage. Now, after this, with this clarity of how Apex works, now we will see some other things like environments and other things, how we do that in the Salesforce, like developer console, etc. That we will see in the next video. So, do subscribe to this channel for getting such kind of more useful videos for you. And till then, have a good time.